Hey, Jack, can you can you take this blinder off off me? Just turn this thing off. The the, the light. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no. This light is like. I don't know. It's just right in your face, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. It's like, oh man, was as brighter. Thanks. He's an asshole. <laughs> He's such an asshole. Like I'm 17. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Is that better? I think so. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. It's yeah, pretty it's even. Good. It's good. Yeah, it's not fucking my my eyes up. Yeah, thanks, bro. All right. <laughs> no, that actually, have, that's good. Have a good day at the gym. Bye. Sorry you have to walk. <laughs> no, this way. <laughs> Big it! Big it is my podcast! Big it! Big it! Big it is my Biggin is my podcast. Would like to thank drinkwildbills.com, growyourassoff.com, and poddex.com for their support. Use the code BACON at any of those sites for 10% off your entire order. Also, big thanks to Manscaped for keeping the marbles shiny, mm. saving the balls. Saving the balls. Your balls will thank you. Use the promo code BACONPOD, get 20% off, get free shipping, and uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. But also, thank you to our Patreons mm-hmm. over at Bacon Is My Podcast. Uh, Patreon.com oh. slash Bacon Is My Podcast. There you go. Check out extra episodes, early episodes. He's got the script down better. Live streams, all that kind of fun stuff. And anybody that's listening, thank you guys for listening. You keep this thing going. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing all right, man. Yeah, I'm doing like, pretty this good. Is, this is pretty good. This has been a pretty good night. Like, peek behind the curtain, and I'm sure we've talked about this before, mm-hmm. but we, we we record multiple episodes a night. Yeah. And we pretty much do all these intros after the interview. More or less, yes. More or less. Mostly, if it, honestly. If it's bad, if it's, like, really bad, you'll know. Yeah, I, I, I think that that's good that we do it afterwards because it kind of, like, if it was a good interview, we're a little bit hyped about it. Right. And then we can, like, walk into it. And if we're not hyped about it, we can just be like, yeah, you know, sometimes sometimes you just got to get something out. Sometimes yeah. you promise somebody something or you agree to it or you book something and it happens. And today was not that day. Today no, I, you was know what? great all around. Tonight, tonight was really awesome. Uh, we had a couple of really good bands. But uh, but the one we're talking about right now mm-hmm. is uh, is orgy. Dude. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'm like you're you're going orgy still a thing? Yes, orgy but, is still a thing. Mm-hmm. I'm think like when you said we've got the singer of orgy, I was like low key super excited about it because when they came out. Uh, Stitches and Blue Monday came out and I was like this this is the kind of music I like <laughs> this is the kind of music I want to do this is they they were definitely one of those bands uh, just I loved it I loved right. it I loved the influence of metal and pop and electronica and dance and, and there was the gothic elements to it um I love that they did a New Order song. I loved even more that their originals were cool. Uh, like, I... You were sold. really was sold. Like, I, 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 I was one of those... I, like, I loved... I love I loved that band. Yeah. They were amazing. Yeah. So, uh, so it's really cool that we get to pick the brain of Jay from Orgy. Yeah. He was really, like, down-to-earth dude. Um, now, listen, like, I know that... A lot of misconceptions can be had from, uh, you know, I got a lead singer on and from a from a big band or whatever. Dude was as down to earth as you could fucking get. Yeah. Well, and it's all about like just talking shit. Yeah, he's just a talking creator. Shop. He's just a creator, is what he is. He's he uh, he says it multiple times in an interview how he wears a lot of hats and he has worn a lot of hats. And that's what he does, you know. Like he's an engineer, he's a he's a producer, he's a songwriter, he's he's the singer in a cool fucking band. He, yeah. 
He does all that, and they have a new they have a new song out uh, called Comic Castles, which I really like. Yeah, I really dig it. And um, they're gonna have a new song out called Shady AF that yeah. we're gonna work on getting some new content out for not just us but for Orgy as well. Right, and this episode might be dropping on the day of that release, or might it might or it might not. I, I think know. it might be earlier. It might be earlier. Uh, but either way, yeah. We're going to have some fun shit. Friday, May 13th. Friday, May 13th. (laughs) Right. If this is before that, look for it. If this is after that, go check it out. Exactly. If this is on that day, check it out. (laughs) So uh, why don't we do that? Yeah. Here's the interview. Here's the interview. Go check it out. With Jay Gordon from the band Orgy. Right. You go ahead. I don't believe you. But now. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick time out. Uh, we want to tell you all about our awesome sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Uh, we've been telling you about them since the beginning of the year. We've been users for years. Uh, but now they've put out the new Ultra Premium Collection. And what the Ultra Premium Collection includes is a two in one shampoo conditioner, a body wash, a hydrating body spray deodorant and lip balm and uh what you do is you go to the pro uh to the shopping cart yep. you put all your things in there yep and when you're done you use a promo code bacon pod and you get 20 percent off and free shipping i'm gonna stop for one second and i'm just gonna let you guys know that i've actually been using this stuff for the last two weeks i got my order two weeks ago and i've been using it every day and so i'm just gonna give you a super fast review The shampoo conditioner is awesome. My hair feels great. It doesn't feel dry. It's not loaded down. It's not weighted down. And it it actually feels really good. The body wash is awesome. It lathers up really great. I use a very little bit of it. I'm kind of like a uh, sponge guy, so I'll put it on the sponge, loofah, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, And it's awesome. The, uh, The surprise for me has been the uh the body spray Mm -hmm. it's really awesome i never used anything like that before i got it and i was like ah what's this gonna do i'll tell you what as a person with tattoos man my arms feel dry every now and then and sometimes for you of you that have tattoos you understand that like when it gets dry you start to feel like a raised up area for where Mm -hmm. your tattoo was this actually it smells great and it feels great and it keeps you hydrated my hands my arms my tattoos that's what i've really used it on i haven't done the whole body or anything like that Uh, i do use all the other products i use the crop preserver i use the foot spray at night i don't use it during the day because the reviver as well for a midday spritz yeah 100 percent. that is not included in this but the wipes are key you can use stuff here we go here we go. We got the wipes too. Yep. You can use all this stuff um, and you can get 20% off on all of these things. And of course, their flagship Lawnmower 4.0, which I was skeptical. I had the 3.0. Mm-hmm. They gave us a 4.0. I was like, how much better could it be? It's better. It's way better. I've nicked my sack on the Zero 3.0. Times. And I've nicked my sack zero times on the four point. Right. So go ahead. Go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code BACONPOD. Get 20% off. Get free shipping. And support a really awesome brand that we believe in. And support the show a little bit. It's really good, guys. I don't care. If it's not good, I'd tell you. Because I don't care. Right. So It doesn't matter to me. But honestly, like I'd use this stuff whether we had a discount or not. And I use our promo discount because that's what we have. <laughs> so have the same discount that we do. Indeed. And go over to manscaped.com and use Bacon Pod as your discount. Hey, it's DJ from Marvel 9. And when I'm not busy doing the Hard Rock Lunchbox or the Top 20 or absolutely anything else, I'm listening to Bacon as my podcast. Sweet radio voice. Take two. Hey. Take no, two. that wasn't a good one. That was hey. Good. <laughs> no. I can't do it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Bacon's My Podcast, where we are here with lead singer of the band Orgy, 
Mr. Jay Gordon, dude, what's going on, man? Thank you for coming Mr. On. Bruce Springsteen at your service. I'm here, bro. What's up? Whoa, I'm doing good. whoa, whoa, whoa. Sing a song. Oh, that's right. You guys are from the East Coast. Like I, you guys are just like he's like your uncle, right? Like No, no, no. We're from the boss. boss. Like, uh, we're in Long Island right now, so the boss oh. right now is Billy Joel. And you know what? Oh, sure, I, sure. I, I get myself in trouble all the time because I don't really, I'm not really fans of either of them. To yeah. Be yeah. Every time I go out there, I make that mistake. I don't know why his name comes up and it's just like, uh, uh, I'm just not feeling yeah, it ever. I, I, it's not for so, me. so I've got a fun Billy Joel story. I had a, yeah. uh, a buddy who worked at a record shop all the way out east in, in Long Island. And yeah. uh, it was like during the days of, of uh, the initial days of uh, message boards, right? Yeah. And uh, so, People were arguing over why he is the greatest songwriter of our time, and he went in there Spoiler, and just he's not. fucking trashed him. Right? A couple of weeks later, he goes into his store, and everybody is pale faced. Everybody is white, and they were like, "He's like, is everything okay?" And they were like, "Uh, there's a note for you." And they handed him the note, and it was sincerely, "Go fuck yourself, Billy Joel." What? <laughs> he went to the record store to go tell this guy. You do not, you do not want Billy, Billy Joel. Uh, oh, and on the East Coast, you do not want that guy on your bad side. He'll oh, like, man. you know. Man. Yeah. <laughs> that actually <laughs> happened. It happened at a record store wow, out East. And because he was like, yeah, you know, I know my music. I work at a record store. And, and then he said, and then he threw some, did he, did he throw rocks at the window and like break it like glass houses? Remember that motherfucker? No, <laughs> I'll show you oh, bitches. Man. You know, but you know. Let me tell you something about like Long Island. There's some cool motherfuckers. Not just because we're I'm on the thing with you guys. But do you guys know Rene Mata? Do you know him? Um, Rene Mata sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. He's like he's, he's he's like a you know manager slash singer. Like he does right. he he wears a lot of hats and uh, uh, he's fucking awesome. You know, whenever I need a manager, which is like never these days, but like you know. Hey Renee, can you fill in for me, bro? Can you like right. negotiate this for me? He's 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 really awesome. Um, I you know love the guy to death. He's like my brother. That's awesome. And, uh, awesome. He's my motherfucker. But I spent a lot of time uh, at him him and his wife and kids place so so much. And then I know, oh God, was it, there was a band called Beta Plus Embryo that I uh, yeah. came out to. Yeah, they're all from there. Like you know. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. We all call each other. Uh, Salazzo, like hey Salazzo. I have no idea what that what there's something I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. It's either mother <laughs> motherfucker or Salazzo. And I'm like, all right, sounds good. I'll go There's a lot of that. Lot, yeah. yeah. Well or well, Long Island loves orgy. I can tell you that. I, I can tell you, Thank you I can tell you this. So uh like back in high school, buddy of mine, um, and I have to bring him up. I have to bring him up. I, I actually so I was gonna have him guest host with us. Because he's oh, nice. a huge he's orgy, orgy fan, fan to yeah. this day. Nice. Multiple nice. times he was kicked out of school for wearing an orgy candy His ass candy shirt. Ass yeah. Yes. And yes. he and he continued to wear it. He didn't give yeah. any fucks. Joey, Joey DeMacco, big shout out to him. But yep. he, he's <laughs> Joey DeMacco. Yeah. Joey DeMacco loves orgy. Right on, Joey DeMacco. Love you, brother. Sorry you got kicked out of school, but hey man, we gotta we gotta, you know. Got to like break down the barriers and the walls and get it's that right. shit out there. We're having orgies at the school. No, I'm just playing. Dude, I'm, no, gonna, I'm, gonna, school, so, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what. Just just you shouting him out right now. I I was talking to him last night, and this is gonna be the two greatest days of his life because last night yeah. he met a guy that actually worked on the molds and made Yoda for Return of the Jedi, and he got oh, like shit. yeah, he like met a guy and got to like and he actually he's like you're the, you're the molder guy like oh shit. Yeah, yeah, there's a guy. It's like in the in the, the picture is incredible. And he's, incredible. He's literally got a sign on his on his, on his business that says the Yoda guy, and like you know, <laughs> the Yoda guy. It's all kind of like Star Wars merchandise, and he and he bought like a like a authenticated pages from the script of Return of the Jedi, and he was doing it. Oh last man. Time. Telling me I mean, all what about if, it. What does something like that go for? Like thousands of dollars, I'm sure. I have right? no idea. He, well, he, he well, said he there said, was one yeah. that was too like, much for him that he couldn't do. Like you use the force, and he's just like, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it depends on the scene, I guess, because he couldn't get the "I am your" like the "I'm your father" I'm your father scene. scene. Yeah, that. But, that, that would oh be yeah, <laughs> who could who could afford that? Like who you know what I mean? That? I, we're, 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 all, we're, we're all gonna whip his ass for that one. Like, no, bro, that's mine. That's my shit. Right. Yeah. But going from that last night to. To, to now, to Jay from Orgy. 
today. DeMarco, and, DeMarco, I love the guy. I, like he's my he's my homie already. So he's he's, 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 so he's gonna be so when, So when we play New York, that you two, Jimmy G, oh man, Jimmy G, you <laughs> and DeMarco, you guys have to come. You guys have to come to the oh, to the show wherever we yeah. play. Yeah. We're there. We're there. Yeah. You, t- you tell yeah. us where you are. It's, it's usually there. like Webster Hall or wherever they'll have us, you know, Irving Plaza. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, so like, so now you guys are back together uh, after a decent hiatus. You got, you got a new song out. You got more new songs coming out. Uh, mm-hmm. So, like, how, tell me when you kind of, not, not left, but you kind of like stepped back from, the orgy band situation and now coming into it back in you know 2021 2022 the the music business has changed and oh, super, I, super. what i what i love and i've listened to uh you know recent interviews you've done too uh you're gonna approach this new like single thing you know like let's release a bunch of singles and then we'll create it'll be a record it'll be it'll be a record at some point like knowing me but like five years it'll be a record finally we got it like you know (laughs) i don't know but like uh no 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 i mean you know all kidding aside like you know we're gonna they're gonna be a lot you know they're they're all coming but like you know just to please a few people you got to make some songs that like possibly have some radio stuff so i kind of hint at those but then but they're not my favorites, right? And then so now this this heavy shit's going to start to come. And those are they're not going to be singles, but they're going to be fucking badass. Like so I'm I'm excited about those um uh this one song Ghost in particular that's it's going to be really dope and uh, it's heavy as fuck. So nice. I can't wait. People are going to be like lose their mind and go like did they fucking lose their mind as they're losing their mind like, you know. <laughs> it's it's going to be a, like a mind thing, you know. But uh it's cool. I'm I'm loving it. But go go for it. That's so cool. Yeah, like because we were we were actually talking to just talking about it just before you came on. Like, uh-huh. so so a lot of bands now they're adopting the electronic music and you know the heavy music mixed with the electronic music. And yeah, you can make it. You can make a um, an argument for you know Nine Inch Nails, of course, right? But, yeah, but sure, like, sure. But at the same time, it's like you 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 guys were kind of one of the first in the genre to to really do it in that like heavier realm yeah i mean not not as not as effective or even remotely talented as the, the not, like i'm sitting here like oh fuck i don't even know how to use this computer i just bought like let's try to figure this out <laughs> but like but, like candy ass and, and, and i'll tell you this like i i mean you know i don't know if any of the other guys you know i just i'm just gonna say that like since the beginning of time like i, I never really left orgy by the way or anything like that i just yeah we we kind of pulled back to the hiatus like I, I worked with my cousin on a record or two and something like that and then and but 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 the first record candy ass we did that on two inch tape and we used like um studio vision it was like two track edit we had like oh, wow. pro tools pro tools too but it was like you know it was, it was yeah. literally like you could work with like one track or like a stereo track at a time and you're like yeah. oh i just made an edit like it's it, it was like the precursor to garage band's asshole like it was like terrible <laughs> but uh you know yeah we, we we managed to get through it you know some v drums some other stuff like you know there wasn't a whole you know ass load of sequencing going on but i c- kind of figured that out towards the end of it all I'm like threw a bunch of stuff in and like you know it's, it's called orgy you can do whatever you want like you right, know what i mean it's exactly. like that's yeah I, I, I don't know what a lane is so right. you know that kind of created this kind of you know unique little vibe and you know i mean i could tell you you know what mpc i used on this or whatever i used on that like you know i was wearing a lot of hats trying to be like i don't know like the neptunes and like i want to do this and, and be in a yeah. rock band they're like, no, get your ass back in there. That studio, you're not producing this band over here. Focus, bro. And I'm just like, that. I'm the worst at that. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, you're going to the vocal, vocal booth? Yeah. No, the vocal booth is always way too hot. And there's never anybody that just, like, <laughs> has something useful to say. Like, you know, even sucks would be cool. But, like, it's right. like, I, you know. I, just look I don't love producers. it. Looking for producers. Like, you know, like, I mean, you know, I don't know. Carl, I, and I, Carl, Carlton and I do... You know, we, we can get the music end of it. Like, we we could lace the fucking music shit up. But, like, it's like, you know, the vocal part is just always like, okay, we spent, like, 17 years on the music, and then we're going to do, like, 45 seconds on the verse. And <laughs> maybe a minute and a half on the course and be like, okay, we're done. We're out of here. I don't know. But I, but I, I love to sing live in particular. That's my, that's my shit, you know. Yeah. And I love to be in the studio all the time, which I, which I am all the time. It's just like... 
the instrumentals I have are just there's just so many, just tons of them. That's there's awesome. tons of them. Yeah, yeah. Probably gonna I, get a publishing deal one of these days for that. So you know, working on that. You know, any of you guys know any publishers? Call me up. <laughs> publishing deals. Send me away. We, we, were looking, yeah. we were looking for that too. We were looking for yeah, it too. Same. <laughs> Same shit, yeah. man. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, if you're not going to be in Guns N' Roses or, you know, any corn or anything like that, then, like, definitely, it, you know, it's, it's a way. You know, get it in a video game. Get it on, like, you know, get get 30 seconds of it in this or that, you know. It's bar better than rescue. better than sitting on those with your bar rescue. Yeah, anything. Like, it, that's great. I'd love that. Safeway commercials, like, you know, CVS, whatever. You know, I'm down yeah. to do it all. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Anything, yeah. anything you can get it in. Um, speaking of video games, like you, you were doing voiceover work for a long period of time. I saw, and so that would not be me. I. That's it, another. You are you looking at Wikipedia? My, you got a bad I'm Wikipedia. A, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a IMDb or is it Wikipedia? Oh, you said Wiki. Well, no, it's, I, it, I, it is on IMDb. And on IMDb, but it shows like it's it's funny then because it shows like it's like it's not that I don't want to do voiceover work, guys. But right, no, no, I was I, say, I, it shows I, you like it's like appears as himself in orgy videos, and then it's like the next thing was voiced this person in in an X Men game and in a Spider Man yeah. game and Call of Duty. And then, That's the, uh, I don't know who that? that Jay Gordon is, man. I really don't. Like, I, I'd like to meet him. I, we could swap out a few credentials for each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hey, bro, I got your uh, voiceover work and your, you know, karaoke madness <laughs> game. And then, you know, yeah. Well, he's, he's uh, his his IMDb says he's in orgy videos then. So might want to look him up. Yep. Uh, but, you know, I, I get that. There's like, there's some very inaccurate situations on there. And I, I just don't know what kind of voiceover work I've ever done. But I've always wanted to. Well, okay. with that said, yeah, one thank of the you things guys that for you... launching a career for me. Thank you. Exactly. One of the things That's that you've for. done was was be J. Jonah Jameson in a uh, no, yeah. from Spider Man. No, no, he no, that he did. Right. We're oh, doing quote unquote. Okay. Okay. Quote unquote. Yeah. So, so quote unquote, unquote, that was me. Yeah, I get it. Uh, so I mean, I mean, with that on my resume, I should be able to like go and just be like, "Yo, guys," you know, and then just actually like use my voice to to do say, a voice. What over. you need to do is you're send mis- the, send your IMDb well. out to the to Marvel Universe and just be like, "Hey, it's uh, me. We've got multiverses. I'm, here I am. Yeah. I've been J. J. Jameson. Let's do this." Yeah, I think I'm gonna do. I, I think I'm definitely gonna be involved in that to some extent. You know, somehow. You know, a, I have the cool I have the deep the deep radio voice, and I could do like, "Hello and welcome to Movie Phone." I could do that guy like right, there perfect. You, go. Exactly. you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Like it's got a sweet baritone. Yeah, but that guy. Oh, the only reason why I learned how to do that guy is because he would do like your selection, booty call. That was like <laughs> what, bro? Like, man, I forgot you know? that was even a movie. Yeah, booty call. Booty I was like, whoa, call. get the T and the Y in there, buddy. Like, you know. <laughs> That, that guy was that, hilarious. I love, I love, like, I love singers that that do that. We we talk about it on the show all the time. That 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 like guy that that's always like, "Hey, New York, how are you doing tonight?" <laughs> it's like super stiff. Like, New York. Oh, I love oh that. man, we we have like local bands like Game show dudes from it up. that's yeah. It's like, welcome to a sweet sixteen. We've got a front man. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Good Lord. Yeah. Those are terrible, right? Like, it's like, oh, another one of those. Like, it's not as funny as the, as the wedding singer at all. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> man. Like, where's, where's Alexis playing keyboards, like, falling apart? Oh, man, I miss that guy. Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so, like, you said you never you never left Orgy or whatever. Um, no. You've always, uh, been music, you've always been doing music and stuff like that. But now you're talking about how you've gotten a new laptop. You're not sure how to use it. So do you still have all like your MPCs and your old? No, no but I mean, I, I mean, I, I do have all the sounds like that. That's that's the one thing like, you know, I, it's like I'm not even taking anything away from anybody else. But, you know, where you know, it was like big, everybody asks about the battle, the big battle between, you know, the old guys. No, and the new guys. no, no, we don't, no but, we don't care about that. <laughs> OK, good, good. But like, seriously, though, it's like I it, like there's only one person that knows at least 70 to I'd say 95% of every song. And that would be me. Like, I, I mean, I have it all. I have like, you know, my shit. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying, no, you know, nobody else didn't put in work or time or whatever. Like, everybody did their thing. But, you know, like if, if there was a trivia quiz, I would get, I would get it right. 
Like, you know what I mean? Because I know what I did. Like, you know what I mean? But it's not a big deal. I mean, I mean, literally, like, I we're all cool. I'm just giving everybody shit. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody was, was super talented. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I don't even know why all that shit happened. But anyway, I, for the first time ever, I brought up that topic. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't we, get it. We, we took yeah. notes. We, it even said, "Don't we bring gonna. up that topic." That yeah, like, just because, like you know, <laughs> it's, it's like nobody, nobody wants to give some like drama, some legs. You know what I mean? But like, fuck yeah. it. You know, it's all cool. I, I I have love for everybody. It's all good. You know, everybody well, we just, we did just their try thing. And, like, we, yeah, we, I'm just we fucking did, around. We said uh, when we first started doing this show, we were like, okay, um, we're both in bands. We're both musicians. We both have do that, and so we're like, what questions do we hate answering? when we get on podcasts yeah and we'll that's, make that's sure that we definitely my ask. least favorite least favorite is that and blue monday yeah the, right right oh no no right. see see for me it's always well we're local where did you where <laughs> yeah that's true we're local but like so but like, i'm sure how many times have you been asked well how'd you come up with the band name right right it's like is it because yeah. you have so much sex right? yeah 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 that's that's crazy i right. I, I, I was sitting with uh meigs from cold chamber now gemini syndrome right in my living room and he was just like you know, he just likes to watch the adult entertainment stuff, right? So we're yeah. we're sitting there, and like, I'm like thinking, "Fuck, I got to come up with a name for this band." And we're like, you know, hyper this and fucking blah worst. blah blah. And and then nine seven six orgy came up, and I was like, "Perfect, that's it, rap. There it's it a rap." M- Miguel's like, "Oh, I love it." <laughs> I was like, "Hey, right, cool." Yeah. I was at the point where at work I had like a band name suggestion jar. <laughs> I wish and- I would have went with one of those. <laughs> right. I, I, well, in, in, hi, in hindsight, in hindsight, because Jax, my son, who just left here, who's being the little asshole who just ran right, down, right. he was like, when he was like a kid, like eight or nine, like my daughter's age, he was like, he's like, Dad, I'm so mad at you. And I'm like, what? And he goes, I, I went and looked your band name up, Orgy on the internet, and like, you know, some bad <laughs> stuff came up, and I was just like, oh, yeah. I've been meaning to have that talk with you. Uh, now right. you get a time. And he's like, no, I'm mad at you. And he was just like, whoa. You know, he's gone. Now you can't get him out of the damn things. He's like, I love the name. No, so. You probably shouldn't have I, looked it up with video or image. Right. That's, yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, you know, but you well, tell actually, an eight-year-old that he's going, O-R-G-Y, oh, yeah. enter. Yeah. <laughs> he I thought he was going to see me. I had a suggestion uh, from work. Uh, the band name was Butt Plug Bingo. Nice. All right. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't go you know, with that BPB, one. BPB, but... you know, BPB. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it didn't work out. It, I can see it on a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, absolutely. I do, I do, uh, I do love the new, uh, the newer merchandise with the orgy, uh, the the band, not the group activity. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like a funny joke for like a couple of runs. I think it kind of overstayed its welcome, but yeah, it's cool. I, I, I was, I was like that. I was like that just to. Just so the just so the poor Joey's that got kicked out of school could be exactly. like, oh, man. No, 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 that no, no. One, that, that one, yeah, that one has worked with my son at school when he has no other clean clothes. He's like, yo, I'm getting this merch box. I got a brand new shirt in here. <laughs> Bam, puts it on. I'm like, thanks. That's uh yeah, thanks, thanks for the forty bucks for That's the <laughs> Don't bother doing your laundry though. You guys you guys are, are now playing live again. Which is oh yeah, really we have cool. been for years. Yeah. Um. So well, I mean, well, like since post, the pandemic, post pandemic. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. that whole thing. Oh, oh, that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's That's not so even nice. go there. Yeah. So so, uh, are you guys gonna just kind of do like short runs after you put a single out, or are you guys gonna just strategically do things? You're gonna do festivals. What? I honestly, I honestly, I, I would love to do festivals if anybody would be like. Just call me, bro. Like I'm. A, I mean, I'll give you my phone number on the air. Like, come on, no. no I, I, it's it's a. Uh, we are. We have. We actually have one booked. I can't talk about it. Okay. It's for next next year. Big nice. show somewhere in the hot areas uh, near California. So right, I'll just right. leave it there. And then um, that that one's a Live Nation thing. I, you know, as far as I know, uh, that that's kind of happening. And um, so as far as the tour thing goes, okay, it was, real quickly, it was, uh, so we take this really nice Prevo when we go out uh, on the road. And for some reason, the lady has her bus in one state and her business in the other. And no one, not even like the shady guys that are like, hey, come here, I'll share your bus, you know, nice. would, give, <laughs> would, would give her insurance. Like, you know, so, so that, like, you know, and we get a really good deal, um, you know, because we have this crazy driver, Tom, that's like, He's he's nuts. 
then you can drive sand up a dead dog's ass. And I'm like, fuck yeah, Tom, you tell her. You're our guy. You know, <laughs> he's, he's the guy. Tom, you need a water? Are you okay? And that jelly donut? Uh, you, okay, cool. Here we go. Uh, no, I love Tom. He's like my brother. Uh, and, um, you know, he's just, he's just ready to go. And he's just got to get out of his way. He's a little grumpier than most, but he will whip your ass in case you wondered. So we leave him alone and we let him do his thing. But, like, yeah, no, he's awesome. And so I guess he parks the bus at and his property, which is like way up north. Um, and uh, her like up by Washington, and then her business is in another place. And so no one would insure it because they think it's like I don't know some kind of scam thing, which totally sounds like one to me. It's like, oh, your bus is in another state. Yeah, perfect. We got we got you. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, 100%. So, 100%. yeah. So that's not going to happen. And so. So literally, that's why we push back these dates that are going to happen. Plus, everybody and their mom's out. So what that did was, you know, like just like gas prices went up, what do the bus companies do? Let's, hey, oh, let's yeah. raise the prices up. So these guys that already are just lagging on money, making money, yeah. have to pay a lot more for the bus. So we're like, they're like, yo, 65 grand. We're like, okay, that just buries us for doing that. So we just had to wait uh, until they figure out this, like, you know, Put the company in the same or bus, whatever, wherever you guys want to do with that, put it in the same place. Somebody's going to insure it and we'll go back out and do all those dates again. But we are doing several dates. Uh, we just got back from Jersey. Didn't see you guys there, but you know, you we missed it. We missed the Jersey show. No, it's okay. It's okay. Jersey is the fun. armpit of America. Oh, I, like I, I was, dude, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm fucking with you. I know. I know. I know. I know. It was no, great. It honestly, was great. honestly, like, so we, we joke about it all the time. So, I would rather go to a show in Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. than in New York City. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a train right away, right? And like, bring, bring bring the noise and everything out of the city into Jersey, and let them deal with it, and then you just go back home. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, I, I'll go. I'll go to Starland. I'll drive to Starland. Right. I'll go to Toad's place. Like, I, I think I know what you're talking. About. Like, yeah. Okay, I yeah, think I know. no, clue. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure we played a couple of those places. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you played Starland. Starland's been probably, around yeah, for probably. fucking forever. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I hate I hate going into the city for shows. Um, but like a lot of people love it. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm AJ from Werewolves, and you've been consuming bacon. Is my podcast. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of really good friends uh, that live out there uh, in Jersey and stuff. Like, I don't know, Gil Griffith, great guy. Like, I have some close homies out there. Um, you know, um, it's it's cool. I've had some crazy experiences in Jersey. It's fun. Like, I, you know, Jer- Jersey is an experience. It's it's what ten minutes from New York, but it's just like what? It's yeah, like it's, it's so different. World. Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> I but love, yeah, I love Red Bank too. So, yeah. Um, Speaking of like touring and having different experiences and being everywhere, like you, you have been all over the world. You guys have toured all sure. over the world. And um, I, I've been lucky enough to be out of the country just once on a tour. And we went to China and, and one of the coolest things what? was really? getting, yeah, yeah. It was, oh, oh man, it was awesome. And it was one of the coolest things was just getting to like learn about cultures and learn about different things yeah. that they did there. Like finding out that they don't, give you cold beers they give you all warm beers when they get to the show and they're, oh that's convenient and that's oh, what they man. do and, you know but but you know uh also just being a part of the culture and meeting the people and and it's just awesome yeah, yeah. um so great 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 luggage and watch knockoffs you gotta you gotta love them like but <laughs> absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah. I, I i really want to go like you know japan china those are the ones i really want to do like i just yeah. you know one of my friends' band just please just drag us over there, bro. We will, you, we'll we'll do it cheap, bro. Like you know, like right, you, right. I'll pay I'll pay you. Just you know, get me over there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really want to go to China. Um, you know, you know, wow. I do want to buy some of this. Uh, you know, not uh, you know, there's no copyright infringement laws over there, so there's, it's like there is not. Hey, I bought it in China. I you know I, I mean? sang I sang one of our songs in Mandarin phonetically. I had, I had help shit. doing it. And we released it over there, and I have never seen a dollar. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't no, know who to don't worry. No, no copyright. No, no copyright. No publishing. No publishing. No copyright. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Didn't, over you, there. You didn't you do yeah. like a? Didn't you do like a promo for their like Super Bowl of some 
other yes, sport. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh, yeah, you're not getting. Yeah, yeah. I doubt. I don't think. I don't think you'll be seeing any uh, ask cap or BMI checks. I'm not I sure. Don't you gonna, I don't, I don't <laughs> think I'm gonna. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Well, but what I wanted to ask you though is is just from that experience with me, like, um, I I had such a good time doing that, and I wanted to know, mm-hmm. like, from you, you've been everywhere. Uh, yeah. What are some like? Are there any like customs or or cultural things that you kind of discovered while you were while you were out and while you're on the road that you were like this is fucking badass i'm making this a part of my life i'm continuing this habit or this yeah. thing or i'm just generally trying to find somewhere where like it looks like okay cool i could i could eat that for sure right. you know but like i've had a great time all over uh colombia peru like uh yeah like i mean those 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 countries are like fantastic. I mean, it's a little scary at the airport when the lady in front of you, like the grandma's got like the, what are these extra big forks you have in here, ma'am? Like, it's like, it's like, what? Why does she have such big forks in there? Like, that's a weird looking bar of soap. And it's just like, oh, you're, you're going to go, you, you know, I'm like, oh, she's like 80, bro. Like, come on, you know, like somebody's got to get this stuff over here. Don't just play it. Right. Yeah. yeah but it's like literally like, like, like thick, you know, gold forks. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Those, oh, a couple of them broke. I see. Uh, aren't they metal? Like, it's terrifying. <laughs> I think you know what I'm saying. Yes. 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 Like, yes, yes literally, yes. like she had this like house. It was the weirdest thing. Like, oh, let me open up this little thing. It's full of, you know, paraphernalia right. Right. things. But it, but it looks like little house on the prairie. Like you know, it, with big forks and like you know, <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. These guys knew right away. They're like, uh, Miss, you know, you're gonna have to come with us. And the right. dogs are going nuts. Like, oh, <laughs> that one right there. You know, <laughs> that's yeah, it. I, oh I was God. like, I was like, dude, everybody check your pockets. Make sure that you can okay, cool. Bubble gum only. That's it. Like you know, yeah. <laughs> bubble gum. That's it. Here, that's it. That's what I got. I got bubble gum and a Motorola flip phone. That's it, buddy. <laughs> oh, Motorola flip phone. Let's check that out. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's crazy. If you walk into a Motorola, you know, an airport nowadays, like an old Motorola flip phone, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're, oh, you're, you're, getting, the cavity you're getting questioned. You're getting yeah. like, you know, the yeah. gloves and like, Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're going to do this. Yeah. That's why I always have one with me. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. You, know, you got to love it, you know? You know? Uh, something I definitely want to ask you about, and uh, you brought it up on an interview. Uh, you hung out with uh, Chino and Abe from oh, Death yeah. Tones. And you wrote a song called Soar. Oh, how do you know about that? You sly devil. Like, I, I, <laughs> I want to fucking hear it. This Let's song, go. Let's this song, go. Like, honestly, like, like you know, it was a little late. We're all tired. Your voice is shot. Like, whatever. And we're just, and I just come up with this little riff. Like, it's just like a, I've dropped the riff or something like that. But, man, I would love to, like, bring that into this era. I mean, Chino is, even when he's got, like, no voice it still oh, sounds yeah. dope as fuck like you just want to be like yeah more of that whatever it is yeah, are you breathing breathe, breathe breathe yeah just breathe scream sc- whatever you feel like doing like just do that and it's a it's it's like the perfect take every time you know and and uh he does this vocal on it that's just like so cool yeah and it's called soar and uh abe hated my b drums at the time so he's like doing his abe fills and i, I love <laughs> there's one one drummer that I love to watch, like, you know, like, like, I, I literally, super sit, intense. I, I, yeah, like, if I can get, you know, like, them to ever throw me a pass or something like that, like, I'm in that little uh, drum pit, you know, where he's, he's got his drum kit up, and I'm, like, in the, in the little, like, you know, guest seat, if, you know, if no one else is taking that, I'm, like, there, I'm on stage, like, ducked down in this little thing, he's, like, yeah, could we get beers, and he's playing, like, the dope, like, you know, any beat. Is right. dope. Anything from that guy. Yeah, he's saying like dun, 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 cat, dun, two beers. Dun, 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 and I'm like, wow. That's like he's incredible, man. He's sickest drummer. Like just I love it. And I'm I'm just in his little dugout and he's like, Yeah, what's up, bro? And I'm like, bro, you play your show. Like thank you so much. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like How he's just so good. Right now? You know, he's so good that he could do like he knows these beats so good. He practices, you know, obviously clearly yeah. the guy's, you know, rehearses a night or two. Yeah. I, you know, I'm just gonna he's go okay. ahead and put that out Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, that band rehearsed. They were literally one of the best bands I, forever. I mean, I hope they all live to be like 118, and they don't fucking ever stop playing because they're just you know, corn too. Every you know, I love my homies, but and system and all those guys, you know. But but that fucking band right there, man. Just I, what I what you. woman? My mother doesn't even like heavy shit, and she's just like, I'd fuck the singer for sure. Sorry, <laughs> wait, Lisa, wait, wait, wait. Like, yeah. Sorry, like- Chino. <laughs> was it was it around the fur chino or uh, was it self-titled chino uh, uh, 
listen, Chino in any form is going to blow 99 point. Pretty much, you know, I'll just go ahead and give it the full 100% because you're not going to touch it. It's yeah. just, he's just he's just the sickest ever. He could he could just do gibberish and you're just like, yeah, yeah whatever that was. Like, you do that, you know. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. him do it live. I've seen oh, him yeah, he's just like, <laughs> like, you know that song, uh, Engine? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yes, that, like, I love that song. Just whenever they play that, I'm just like, I get so fired up. I'm just, you know, like, just like when Limp Biscuit plays, like, break stuff, I'm, I'm out there ready to fucking, you know, fuck somebody up. And I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm over here, you know. But like, <laughs> so you, like, you, you bring up Limp Biscuit and stuff. And, yeah. like, they're bring they're having a resurgence. And, and, oh, yeah. and like, it's, Incredible it's so funny man. because, like. They're so I, good live, too. It's like. I, I, yeah. I So, like, in high school, I was all about Limp Biscuit, And then all of a sudden, they became uncool. And then. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Whenever they, I, 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 I slow down. I would slow. I people uh, became uncool. Yeah. I would, yeah, I would slow down on that. Them becoming uncool because, like, honestly, it's like you know, Fred on his worst day is the most personable motherfucker ever. Yeah. Wes is just like he wears some shit Great. on stage. I'm just like, dude, it dude, makes dude. me want to cry. He's so I've seen creative and talented. Like, it's and I've he's seen so big fucking dumb talented. Faced. I've, oh, yeah. I've seen, yeah, and, and oh, yeah. that was like. What did I just? This yeah, is great. Well, like, 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 you know, everybody wants to just like, come here, Wes. Get over here. I just want to get you on a trick. Can Can I get you on one song? You know, like the guy's probably so sick of that. But like, I mean, look at the riff that dude wrote. wrote you know oh, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm never gonna get sick of hearing break stuff. I, I did it. I made up a dance to Roland. Like, you know, when Fred was dating Carmen Electra, and I was just like, yeah, Car Carmen would be like, Jay, do the Roland dance, you know, or whatever. Uh, it was the Nookie dance actually. So you oh, can okay. take that cookie and stick it up your and eh, stick. You know, I used to I love that shit and. Uh, you know, this was a hundred years ago, but like it was fun. But, I still, no, but I feel I gotta, I gotta relive, relive my childhood days too. You know, to to, to like, but no, like I, you know, like for me, I was like, when biscuit is a shit, and then oh, as I yeah. get older, and then all of a sudden it was like, okay, well, it's uncool to like them, but they put their new nah, record out. And it was like, it, it, it was like, it's, it's, oh shit, this is fucking good. Yeah, like, I, I, awesome. I think I think that yeah, like I mean, if I, I put that shit on re religiously, like you know, like once a month or you know, once every other month, I'm gonna pop that or a Pantera, you know, definitely some corn, like old school corn shit or something. Even the new shit, they just are phenomenal too. They just yeah. don't stop. It's just like wow, the yeah. light shows get better. Jonathan's just like fucking sick as fuck, you know. Like I love him. Yeah, he's he made my career. Like him and David Silvera, like you know, like definitely yeah. gave us like you know. We're gonna do this, and I'm like, thank you, God. I didn't know how, you know. I, I can't thank that guy enough. Queen of the Damned, like he gave me the first yeah, shot at whatever yeah. song I wanted to do, and I'm like, that one. I didn't know it was gonna be the one in the movie, but I liked it the best. And uh, it was like now, Orgy plays it live, like you know, only mainly at vampire shows, like we did in Jersey. We just played that uh, vampire freaks thing, and then first time we played it was at the Vampire Ball in L.A. Because we're like, vampire show, we got to do that song, you know, yeah. got to do that song, yeah. Well, yeah, we, I mean, so we, you got you're talking about movie songs and stuff. We actually were specifically wrote a song. That's how this this podcast came together was we wrote a song for a, a vampire, vampire movie. movie. Yeah. And uh, and it was completely out of our wheelhouse. He's like Foo Fighters and Cheap Trick. Did you guys put like, like, look, I got things in, bro. Like, come on. We're, we're going to play it. We're going to play it once the movie comes out. We're, we're supposedly going to die in the movie, too, which is going to Yeah, we, we get to get killed in the movie, which is going to be but, That's always um, fun. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, how do you feel writing for a record versus writing for a movie? How, uh, like, the Queen of the Damn stuff, did you get to see anything beforehand? Or did they just go, hey, no, here's a concept. No. Go for it. I had those. I had, like... Maybe uh, uh, other versions because Jonathan did those. Those songs are Jonathan songs. Period. Like all, yeah. Those those, you know, slept so long. The other one, the other one. I mean, I had this CD that he gave me. You know, like I, I you know, I never gave it out or like you know, yeah. You know, what I mean? you know what I mean. Like so, I would play it in my studio all the time, and I would just listen to this shit over and over. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, this shit's incredible. Like it was like a journey. It was totally made for. He didn't. I, I don't know if he knew that that's what it was going to be for, but. Sure enough, like, and then he got with the guy from Oingo Boingo, and then they made it even better, more orchestrated, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, those songs were badass, and I, you know, like, the, I had those songs years before uh, Queen of the Dam came out. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let you know you guys can trust me with your music. <laughs> okay, 
We're, we'll send some shit to you. We'll send you some Hell yeah. <laughs> just, just, a, just to store it. You know? Yeah. That, that's, why, that's, that's another reason why we, you know, it's that, uh, it, I would love to have, I never made a copy of that Sora song because I wanted to get them to be happy with it, you know, and Abe okay. was not going to be happy with those drums and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I ended up editing them and do a really good job, like never quite finished it. And, uh, uh, but I really want to redo that song. So I'm so glad you brought that up because I'm literally like, I, like I could whip that whole musical bed. It wasn't not the simplest riff ever. I'm going to go to my studio and start that and just do like a real, you know, not, a non-insulting drum, nice. drum thing for Abe and just be like, here's what they will sound like. But with you playing it, it will be much better. Like you know, and then just go in there and just crush that song. You know, oh, uh, let's it, do it. You guys let's will love it. that song. Everybody that's a Deftones fan, this is the one that they've been waiting for. I, like I, literally, it's I'm waiting for it still. So it's been years. Nice. But yeah, yeah. It's awesome. nice. Awesome. So this is the Deftones hour and Limp Bizkit hour uh, <laughs> and Corn hour. Ramstein. Who else do we go for? Like Motorhead. Let's do some more. Yeah. Well, well, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay some bills too. We're nice. gonna pay some bills with some of our uh, our our sponsors. One of our sponsors is called a company called Pod Decks, and what they do is they have like decks of cards for budding podcasters or or people who don't have verbal diarrhea like we do. Right, and uh, they kind of like help break the ice and help uh, you know create conversation things like that. So uh, really? they have different uh, different topics. topics each mm-hmm. deck and then within each deck is 50 cards and 50 cards has 50 questions so what we like to do you is explain have... this in the longest way I'm every sorry. time I'm so <laughs> it's sorry. amazing yeah, have uh, you guys ever heard of, yeah you guys ever heard of oblique strategies it was like david bowie uh what was his producer's name i don't know but go ahead but but the same thing it's like you know take the course and reverse it you know like it would just give you just random ideas to like you know oh that's a good idea yeah it, absolutely but it, it had an iphone app they don't make it anymore. It pisses me off. Go ahead. <sighs> it sucks. But, but yeah, what we like to do idea. is have our guests pick from one of these decks. You we'll get, get a random deck, question. and then we'll get you to pick a random question. So uh, what we have is the interview deck, the interview deck two, episode deck. We have the would you rather deck. We have the what the heck deck. We have, uh, did I say interview deck two? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. We also have the uh, what the fuck deck, which is here. You go. It's old. You have to go. You have to go with that one. Or they have the how dare you deck, which Mm. is kind of like. I like the what the fuck. Yeah, Yeah. I say I say that so often. It's just it's got to be what the fuck. Yeah. What the fuck. So I'm gonna go go ahead and shuffle them, and Jim is gonna. All right. So while Mike shuffles the deck, I'll just tell everybody listening that it can hear the sound of my voice. Go to poddecks.com. Check out the decks of cards. Check out their swag that they have. They also have an app. Uh, They are helpful. It's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, kind of like Exploding Kittens, that type of thing, just to give you ideas, give you help Mm -hmm. if you are a podcaster or just someone who uh, wants to have a conversation. Yes. Again, again, one more time with the name. What are they they called? Poddex.com. Poddex.com. So if you go to poddex.com, check out... Yeah, dot com. Right. Check out any of those yeah. things. You can use the promo code BACON. Because everything is better with bacon. And you get 10% off your order and you help out the show. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, we're going to fan out this deck. The I'm finger gonna, of power. I'm going to take the finger of power and I am going to move it from my left to my right, your right to your left. And you tell me when to stop. Stop. Stopping right here. All right. All right, Jay, do you have a signature move or quirk that people notice or comment on? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, there's like the the, the mic, the blue Monday, like that that thing, you know. Right, right. Yeah. The, I, I don't have the cord anymore, so I do it with a wireless so it doesn't look as cool. It's just like, hey, he's just going like this now. Like <laughs> yeah. No cord. <laughs> yeah. But that's I, that would be it. What, okay. what about what about in regular life, not non stage life? Do you got what's oh. your special move? Uh, ooh, I can't do that on the show. Um, <laughs> no, I I don't really. I'm just like, I, I I don't know what would be my special move. I, I that one threw me off. I don't like that question. No, uh, no. I, <laughs> my my, my kids would be like, like, yeah, my kids would know you know better than me. Like you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know? yeah. 
how how do you how do you balance like dad life and music life? Where'd he go? He left us. Where'd you go? <laughs> I don't. Oh. Yeah. You don't. Right. I mean, it's it's tough, you know. You when you have kids and shit, you just gotta like cram it all in, just do your best, and like you just you drag your elbows and head up the stairs every night, and you're just like, eh, you know. Do yeah. you have Do you have like a, a home studio that you you work out of? No, I have actually two studios. I have one like eight blocks away. Uh, that's not my permanent studio, so I'm just there temporarily. And then I have a new studio in Hollywood that uh, you know I just got that they're like re you know redoing all of you know nice ma- now, material material for the walls it's all black it's really cool uh, you know yeah can't wait for that to happen who who, nice. are, who are you working with at because you you talked about being an engineer you talked about like producing and stuff like that who else are you producing and engineering right now like what what else are you working on besides I mean, pro- probably stuff that like well there is some stuff uh there, there's there's a band called Oddco, incredible video director guy, uh, super cool guy, uh, Geo. I'm working with Oddco. Um, you know, I'm do, always going to do some remixes and stuff. So I'm doing a remix currently with him that's going to feature Orgy on it. And um, also, what else? Um, I think it's called Siren Song, but like point two or something. I, I don't know. So, so that, yeah, that working on that, um, you know, I work on a lot of like, Let's just say I wear a lot of hats again, and uh, yeah. you know I do some like uh, I just did some R and B stuff uh, with with a really great girl. Her name is Angel. She's kind of like a Doja Cat kind of vibe, oh, and nice. and okay. her stuff's really really dope. And then um, you know just like working with people, you know, like uh, um, trying to find producers that'll produce me and like not just be like yeah okay cool like you know yeah. so. I, yeah, I don't like I don't like mixing my own. I've never liked to mix orgy music at all. Uh, you know, just too close to it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure everybody in the band felt that way too. You know, but yeah, I I, I don't think I, you know I, I don't mix my own music. So I just let somebody else do that. You Eric get Racy, the outside, get the outside ear on it. Yeah. Yeah, like like this new track and um, well, Jay Baumgartner mixed Karma Castles. Eric Racy, who's awesome, nice. who did that. Who did that band Skinned? Their record sounds mm-hmm. great. Uh, he he mixed that, and so he just mixed that shady as fuck song, shady AF. That he he just mixed that, and um, you know between those two guys, pretty much Jay Baumgartner and Eric Racy. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. How do you so wearing all the hats? Like, how do you uh, how do you decide what gets your attention at any one time? Is it just kind of as it comes up, or do you have like I got to work on this right now to kind of um, get my mind off this or i mean i like i prefer to like like if i could have two rooms going for and i just you know and with really competent engineers like i could literally walk walk back and produce like i would love to do like a corn or like whatever song in one room and then like go do a popper roach or like a r&b chick in the other anybody like you know like i i just have like i i just like to do stuff like that like it helps me like clear the palette for other things you know do you think that's that's awesome do you think that's yeah. helped like like orgy has a lot of different um styles and flavors that kind of pop in as you said like that's kind of the point um do you think that that is what's helped you kind of stay on top of that and be able to do that uh, act and, and keep it work because it's hard yeah. to make that work you know? yeah you know you know back to that hiatus that happened uh, let me let, let me explain something like you know it's always been like electronic rock meets rock you know yeah so so but that's when like Skrillex and all these dudes started like just you know coming in. I actually did a song with him uh, that I never released like uh, pre prior to that corn thing that they did. Right? Yeah. I still have it, and it's it's actually taken on some other legs. And I you know Sonny's just a busy dude, and it's like hard to get right. you know on the same page with him. It, sure. I I could release it and just it, you know it, it's him and us you know, but uh, uh, I just never did. I just didn't want to like cash in on his thing you know or you know. Uh, it's weird. Dead Mouse, I would t- I would cash in on the hat though. Nice, the yeah, yeah. Mickey Mouse thing. <laughs> like, yeah. Absolutely, he's, yeah. he's got a good hat. <laughs> no, he does, and, and like you know, I, I, it started out on a website. He already had the Dead Mouse name, but mm-hmm. uh, I, I'm actually the one who told. Me. He actually put it on a, a picture of it on me first, uh, like a picture of a picture of me, like yeah. in the studio with like a beer in my lap, like big cigarette ash, like passed out. <laughs> And he's like, all right, cool. So I should put this on as like a mascot. And he put it on a picture of me and he's like, wow, that's cool. And there you go. 
Where's my check? Where's my check? You know, Where's your uh, check? Yeah, he's Joe, he, it, Joe, that was that was obviously done in in China. Yeah, Joel's Joel's a great guy, but like you know, there's some uh, you know, yeah. So that's cool. Uh, you know, hey, he's he's so genius that guy. Like he he came. Up, I was I was I looked at this website that he had that I wanted to take from him. Like when you're done with this page, give it to me. It was like all white, you barely read anything, but it was so cool looking. And in the bottom corner, there was this little mouse head with the two X's in his eyes, and I was like. That shit is gonna be as big as Mickey Mouse one day. I don't know why I said that. Oh, yeah. Get a get a little person or something to wear it. Put them in right. front of you, like running around, like you know, while you're doing your music. Because he was out so incredibly talented. Like I can go on for days about those guys. Felix, him, all of them. But yeah. So um, uh, so wait, where were we? Damn. Um, <laughs> well, we were talking about juggling all those different styles. Yeah. And how that's helping you, kind of like. If yeah. That's oh, help you oh, what I was, what I was, what it's I tough was, to make it work. Yeah. What I was saying was, I so I felt like I had to like you know I when that dubstep shit came out all crazy and stuff like that, I was like, oh man, how do I do this? You know. So I did like go. It was like going to school all over again. So it took me like some years to like go. You know, without any really help except for from Skrillex, who like he gave me like two bars, and I was like, I'm gonna study those two bars, and it sounded so cool. But some of the stuff is just not able to i can't even explain it like little t uh, parameter tweaks that he does that he knows exactly what he wants and he gets this gnarly bass sound and you're just like i still can't get there you know so it took a while and i i just wanted to learn all the, what everyone was doing in the electronic world because that's what it came to at the time so you had to learn i felt like i had to learn all that stuff in order to keep up with the times on that now it's like they have like awesome sound banks you can just get and it's all there and you just like it's all there yeah. yeah yeah they didn't have those back then though no. nice yeah <laughs> yeah yeah That's it's good. changed a yeah. lot man logic mm -hmm. logic opened up a lot of doors for me like oh yeah uh, first for I me started like, on, i started on logic first yeah okay. so, so uh, i started i started on a pc on reaper and reaper was super cheap mm -hmm. and then because it was pc based i could get any fucking sound I wanted for free, no, of just course. like free downloads, like free VSTs right. yeah. and uh, VSTIs. But you didn't really do that, though, right? Right. No, no yeah. you know what? I, I will say yeah. there's there's websites that are like yeah. legit. Like, hey, yeah, listen to my I get shit. It. I get like, it. Listen, yeah, yeah, and yeah that's I what I went it. to. Like, I never. Uh, no way. No, yeah. <laughs> I've definitely. I've had one or two of those end up in the song somewhere and be like, I don't know where that came from. Shit, like, right. wasn't me. <laughs> there's there's a few sounds in my old PC that I could not ever get it on my Mac because like I, I switched to Mac and then I went I kept Reaper and then it was like oh shit I gotta buy all these synths and stuff uh, fuck bro FL Studio is I think that thing remember it was just like Fruity Loops and you're just like painting yeah. little squares and it was like you know yeah cool this is kind of weird you know but that is an incredibly well written program and it's it's they're all so good now. Like every one of them. Cubase is I used to I used to not like that so much. It's fucking great. And then they split off into the Persona Studio One, the guys who made Cubase, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And that's an incredible app because it's got, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, Melodyne and yeah. um, Vocal Align built into it. So it's like what? You know, those are yeah. some expensive ass plugins. So you get you get your money's worth with that one and um uh you know, Cubase of course and, and uh, which, yeah, like, they're all incredible right now, like, you know, and so it's, it's tough to know, you know, so I'm like a Logic guy first, then a Pro Tools guy. Uh, I, I use FL sometimes just for fun and still trying to learn some of this new shit that these guys do. It's just crazy. Um, are, you as, then, are you as lost on Ableton as I am? No, I, Ableton is my, I, I, I use it. So that's oh, my go-to now. I, I don't that, get it. I can't that's my go-to now is I use Ableton every day. Oh man, I, 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 I logic was, for I, me was good. I was leading up to that, but you, you beat me to the punch, the, the punch on that one. But oh, yeah, man, bro, I, I might have you to learn, get you up and get a get a. Bro, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll have you like flying on that shit in ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, challenge accepted. <laughs> all right, anytime. Awesome. <laughs> well, before we before we wrap up, because we are taking a lot of your Sunday here, and we I. Thank you for that. Thanks yeah, for giving us your I got to go on my Easter egg hunt. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah. man. Absolutely. <laughs> I um, do not, but yeah. yeah. So I uh, <laughs> I just wanted to ask, uh, circle back around to Orgy and circle back around to like 
you know, I, I saw a quote that you that you made about um, about the new song Karma Castles that is out now, uh, and you were talking about you you were kind of talking about what you wrote it about, right? And uh, and what I wanted to ask is, do you like explaining as a songwriter what you write your songs about, or do you prefer to leave it more ambiguous for whoever's listening to it? Well, you always get asked, so. Yeah. You don't want to be a dick about it, but like at the same time, it's like I could tell you that this song is about a trumpet playing dog, and people are going to relate it to themselves. Like, oh, it saved my life. Like, and, right. hey, more power to them. I, I, I love that. You know, people are going to like. You know, it's like that game. You know, when you whisper something in someone's ear, Telephone. And it comes yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, people just twist it in their minds. It's, they're always going to come up with a different a definition than what you meant. So when people ask me, I'm just like. Yeah, sounds sounds pretty pretty close. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. I, I get it. Well, do you hate that when people ask you that? I I always do. I he hate does, it. I, yeah. and I never give the answer. I'm always like, because I the last thing I like, or I'll give them a different answer every time so that people right. you know. But I I would just I I thought about it once and I and I you know, I remember I remember when I was a kid there was a there was a band and there was a song that really kind of like spoke to me in a lot of different ways. <laughs> And, yeah. uh, and I felt like, like, you know, it was one of those, like, they wrote this about me and this, what I'm going through type thing. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I read an interview and they talked about what they wrote it about. And it, and it took a little bit away of, from me, from yeah. Yeah. Uh, not all the way. Cause I was like, Oh, that's cool. Now I know a little bit more about it, but it still took a little bit away. And so when I started songwriting and when I started performing and wanting to do music and everything, I was like, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. I never, I want, I don't ever want to do that. If, if anything, if I'm lucky enough to where anything that I write ever means shit to somebody, I right. never want to take anything away from that. For um, sure. But, and like, I, think, I think the last time that you, like literally you knew that David Bowie was like, I, cause I'm, that, that, that happened to me like, you know, with, I mean, every one of his songs, but like yeah. in particular fame, which I was apparently at the studio uh, sessions for at one point. Uh, really? When I was a kid, yeah, and and so yeah, I've been in some crazy sessions. That's like MG, Michael Jackson one, like a CB Wonder Hot. one, uh, like Gap Band. My dad was like heavy in the R and B thing. Tower of Power. I used to go, you know, wow. play in the studio, studio with all those guys. But the crazy thing was, uh, um, oh, the David Bowie thing. Uh, so so Life on Mars. The lyrics for that song, like he could just explain it, and you're just like, I see this weird shit that he's talking about, like. Yeah. I can never get, you know, people are like, what is that song about? And it's like, I don't know, bro. Like, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want to do. But like, 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 like fame is, is, um, is, is a crazy song, but like life on Mars, he said some heavy shit in that song about the, yeah. the beat, the Beatles. He says something yep. about the Beatles in there. This guy, the workers are struck for fame because Lennon's on sale again. Lennon's and I was like, yep, oh, yeah. you sneaky little bastard. And then he'd be like, you know, hey, like, you know, he's kind of doing this thing like, fuck you, America. Like, right. this right. Mickey Mouse is growing up a, like, a cow. I still get goosebumps every time I hear that. That song, hands yeah, down, man. coolest lyrics ever. Yeah. That's my piece. That's that's a recent one that, I, that I've that i kind of dove into more. I always, I always liked it, but I, um, no, I, teach, soon. I teach vocals at a, at a, like a school of rock and, and they're doing, they're doing uh life on Mars. And so I'm teaching someone to sing it. And so wow. I'm going through the vocals with them on it. And all those lines hit me again, the same way where it was just like, and now I get them different than I got them when I was, yeah. a kid. you know, yeah. like, so I hear them now and they mean yeah. something different to me. And I'm like, Oh, motherfucker. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! You know, yeah, like, I, I could be completely wrong about that whole Lennon thing, but I, I, I don't know if, if he's either talking about the Beatles Lennon or he's talking about some communist Lennon stuff, like right, I, right. which which could be too because you never know. But like, it doesn't really matter. It's like David Bowie. Yeah, gotta, either one's a it, 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 it's mine. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. He's like going like this, and you're just like, yes, bro, I feel you. You know, like ashes uh, to ashes. You know, yeah. junkies. Like, he's well, crazy. that's that's the other reason I don't want to ever tell anybody what my lyrics are about because whatever they think of is probably going to be way better. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've actually had that. Like, yes, that totally is what. Yes. I'm gonna yeah. tell me that slower, and I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Run that by me one more time with my right, uh, right. 
<laughs> yeah, with my recorder app on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> awesome, yeah. awesome. Jay, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with you guys. I was just in like a funny mood today, so you know, it's uh, Easter. Yeah, man. Yeah. You were in the perfect mood for for this. So thank yeah. you so much for spending right the time with us. Uh, we, before I, we sign I, off, though, I oh, had go, a blast. Go yeah, go ahead. Good. Yeah. Uh, uh, so before we sign off here, uh, let everybody know where to find you, where to find everything, Jay Gordon and Orgy, so that they know when they come see it. Uh, I thought we did this earlier. It's like orgymusic.com, um, um, Orgy Official, Twitter, um, I think Orgy Band is one of them. It's either Twitter and Instagram, I get those messed up. You know what, you though? Know. Uh, mm. Don't do TikTok, because I'm trying to figure it out myself. It's awful. Yeah. Why? Oh, Everybody so loves that. Well, I mean, besides the fact that the, you know we're giving another country all of our information, right. and everybody's like, "Yeah, it's just you know." It's, it's, it's you, so hard. It's you so get hard locked hard. right in. You get locked right into that. that like I just oh, go, 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 go. Oh, that looks right. cool. This is fun. Look at this guy beatboxing. Like it just. How many? How many around. videos does Orgy have on uh, TikTok? I think zero. I mean, unless. No, the, the, you know the Blue Mondays and like stuff. You know the cover songs. Like, I don't right, think right. Stitches is on there. They're, 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 they're there, but it's not us doing the video. It's like other people just like you know singing yeah. stuff. Like yeah, that's cooler though. I love that's, that. That's yeah, cooler. It is I love cool. that. Yeah, man, I love Stitches. We didn't even get to talk about that. No, I know. Yeah. We do that a lot. We go on tangents. Yeah, we do that. That's it. But, uh, I, I, do, I do too. Clearly, we're, we're like we're like three hours in. Like, do we do we get any of the questions? Yeah, no, sorry. It's me. We we write out like three or four questions and do some research and everything, and then and those are like the in case of emergency break last questions, you know, because it's like awesome. we're just gonna talk and see what see what happens and see what's up, and yeah. uh, here and we go, make new friends. <laughs> that's yeah, what that's what it's all about, man. Yeah, man. So that right, so right. that when we do come see you, uh, the next time that you're in New York or New Jersey, uh, you'll you'll see us and recognize who the hell we are, and we'll be like, hey, man. Yeah, I'm bringing this pin so you guys can autograph my boobs. Ooh, I will, I will, I will, I will. challenge accepted. All right, yeah. I'm in. All right, plan I'll, on find, it. I'll find a pen too. Plan on it, Jimmy. Cool, plan on it, Jimmy. <clears throat> yeah, Jimmy. <clears throat> We're just gonna go. Jimmy cough. Is gonna be Jimmy. Right. <clears throat> Jimmy cough. Yeah. Jimmy cough works. Jimmy yeah. cough works. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, the only place that I think currently right now where that name is acceptable with your with with the the the, the last name G. Hey, right. okay. I'm I'm a G too, right? You know, to thank God my first name's not Jimmy though. I'm sorry. Right. So, well, see, but the no, only place no... the the only place where that name is accepted is some sometimes in San Francisco it's okay. You're probably gonna get into a fight, but like you know, right. you know, there's yeah. But uh, Chicago, where he's from, right? Is that where he? Yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. You can still, you can still, bro. You can walk into a bar in Chicago and be like, Jimmy G. Oh yeah, like you know, people are cool, you know. Not. And you're close. You you're I, from close enough. I grew up close to there, so I used to go to Chicago a lot. So it'll be alright. Yeah, just be like, I'm the real Jimmy G. That's why this didn't That's work right. out for them. Yeah. That's right. Jimmy G. For bacon it. is my podcast. I knew it. <laughs> he can throw spirals like like. Why are we eating bacon? <laughs> yeah, it's like boom. I used to be a quarterback yeah. too, so I, I I definitely can throw a football really far not like the guy from uh what was that i could throw it to those mountains right up there like right. yeah. yeah i'm gonna throw this to the moon but, but but really 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 close to where he was like mm. uh, yeah of course of course nice. Nice. so uh until then ladies and gentlemen go check out orgy go check out their new single coming out uh Shady AF. Shady AF is uh, Friday, the Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. We will, yeah. Maybe we should drop this on Friday the 13th. I, I'm going to shoot it to you guys so that you can do that if you wouldn't mind. Dude, I mean, I'll, I'll even come back on and be like, hey guys, uh, you guys can be like, shut up, we're going to play the song and it'll be great. Do it. Right? Let's do it. Let's All do right, it. Sounds good. All right. 100%. So uh, before we sign off, uh, what what is the one question we all need to like ask ourselves? Oh yeah, the most important question you can ask yourself every day. I don't know. There is a test. Do you remember, Jay, what the question is? Something about bacon. I bet you. It I is. bet you it is. I that's the first. Is. That's the first name in the title of this show, right? Ah, you you want to ask yourself something that lets you know, like, what's that important thing in your life? What's that thing that makes your life better? What's that thing? Bacon that makes everything better. I don't remember. Bacon does but... make everything better. Oh, so what's yours? What's your bacon? What's your bacon? 
Jack Daniels is my bacon. Jack Daniels is your bacon. Jameson is mine. Oh, <laughs> nice. Too. Aftertaste. Can I, both of them, though. Just whatever. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Jack gives <laughs> we'll, we'll fight. When I get to New York, we'll fight about it. Okay, guys? Let's do it. Well, what, right. well, Sounds let's good, che- man. We'll cheers about it. We'll cheers about it. Yes, yeah, definitely. We'll do that. Definitely. All right. Well, so, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate awesome. it, guys. Dude, thank you. <laughs> I do that. I, I just did it, so that way I got the now. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? I I think he was fun. Jay's a good dude. Jay's a good dude. We have Jay's phone number. Yeah, I think it's a That's, trip. You know what's you know what's crazy? Like I have Mark Marrow mm-hmm. uh, in my phone. Yep. I have Jay uh, from from Orgy in my phone. Mm-hmm. I have I have PCO in my fucking phone. Yeah. Um, what is this life? Yeah, this is this is our life. I don't have all those people on my phone. I have I have Jay in my phone, uh, but that's it. And book more shows. Yeah, I'm not. I don't do that part. I'm just I'm I'm just the talking head. He's he's <laughs> I'm just a talking head. He's the personality. I and make, speaking of your personality, I make where, things look pretty every now. And then. Where where? <laughs> not if you not not if you look at it. Why well, I, I do the I do the um, visuals anyway. Uh, I made the t-shirts that you can get on baconismypodcast.com. Where can they find you? <laughs> you can find me. Uh, Jimmy G Shoes on all the socials. Indeed. Uh, and you can also find my band Craving Strange at cravingstrange.net where you can get links to all the socials, everything that we're on. You can check out all of our videos as well as this podcast in visual form. On StrangerhoodTV.com, which takes you right to our YouTube page. If you want to go YouTube.com slash StrangerhoodTV, you can do that too. It just seems to look, it's a little longer. A little, a little clunky. A little clunky. A little yeah, clunky. It is, it is. How about you? Where can they find you? Uh, well, before I get to me. Oh, okay. What about us? Well, there, yeah. There's us. There is us. There is and, us. And us is on a little site or, or platform. Right called uh apple music it is um another like they're they're getting there uh called spotify kids got something um there's another thing called amazon music Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, deezer no possibly yeah i think we're on there check out bacon is my passion passion for a little bit of fun stuff that jim and i do yeah um, it's really important to us if you listen to that music. We it's do like music neither for... or neither. Neither. Are you a neither or a neither? Yes. Me too. Me personally. And you also. Could f- yes. Uh, me personally, you could find at me, my own self, Mike. Uh, you can find my bands at something heavy music on all the social media platforms and then something heavy on all of the digital streaming platforms all also of, all please of those things have new music out so definitely always check them all out and i believe you you were about to say stay in the conversation no no okay what were you gonna say i was gonna say yes stay in the conversation <laughs> but i wanted to say it myself all right because fuck this guy for interrupting me. Fair enough. I don't like that. I'm an interrupter. He is an interrupter. I know. I do. Fucking guy. It is. But you can you can catch us on all the social media. I medias. apologize for interrupting you. I didn't mean to do it. At me. At. He fucking does it all the time. And it, and it gets me. Yeah. Gets me nuts. I know. Um, at. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> At Bacon I is my podcast. <laughs> At Bacon is my podcast on all the social medias, including TikTok. Even though we can't figure it out, we're figuring it out. We got it. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Yeah. Hashtag, what's your bacon? Hashtag, Bacon is my pod. Hashtag, Bacon is my podcast to stay in the conversation. So please do. Don't forget to give us those five star reviews because it helps uh, beat that uh, algorithm. Yeah, it's super important, and uh, also, don't forget to ask yourself every single week, every single day, and every single moment moment of every, like, 
All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Most important question. What is it that makes your life better? What is it that makes your day better? What is it? What's your bacon? What's your bacon? World peace.